actually just doing this for you guys because it is hella hot up in here. It's 170 in here. Look at my arms are shaking. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today there's a car driving by my window and trying to ruin my sound. That's great. Okay, so today, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be reviewing the new Fenty Concealer and Fenty Powder. I was thinking yesterday, I was on my way to the gym and I had just went to Sephora and purchased these. And I was thinking to myself, do I want to do just a regular review where I wear it around all day and see how it works? No, I decided I'm going to go ahead and take it up a notch. We always gotta be a little bit extra and I'm gonna wear these to the gym. I know there's like this weird stigma around wearing makeup to the gym. I do not care, period. You shouldn't either. But the main reason why I wanted to do this is because although 75% of the time I try to go to the gym right when I take my daughter to school in the morning so I have nothing on my face but a little Vaseline, throw a hat on, basically I look like this the majority of the time. But there are obviously gonna be times where I can only go to the gym on my lunch break or right after work, right before work, or when I'm very, very busy throughout the day. And a little foundation and some lashes is not gonna stop me from getting these gains at the gym. So having sweatproof makeup is important whether you're going to the gym in it or not. I live in Arizona, it's freaking hot. During the summer, it's in the 110s. So I gotta know that the concealer that I wear is gonna be able to hold in that heat and sweat. I need to know this powder is going to hold all that in, that I could be a little glistening, but I don't want to look like a hot mess. You know what I'm saying? I don't want my face to be melting off. Now that I've done enough talking for the entire video, I'm going to go ahead and get on into it. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Foundation just to keep this as one full Fenty face. But unfortunately, I went yesterday to get these, and today I realized... We are empty. So I go to Sephora right before I film this and my shade is, it's not in stock. I'm gonna try to use as much as I can from here. But I ended up having to get 240 because I didn't want to go lighter on the foundation and the concealer looked too dark because I had already bought my perfect shade 230 in the concealer. I can't get 210 and then wear 230 as concealer because then it's gonna look like a hot mess. Uh, shit. My bad. It's more warm, which is not great for me because I'm pretty neutral and it's gonna be slightly darker, which I try to not have happen. This review is not about the foundation, okay. I'm gonna blend it out with the 240 shade. I don't even know where this sponge came from, you guys. I literally just found it in my makeup room. Don't worry, I'm taking these earrings off before I go to the gym. Not trying to hurt myself. I just feel naked without them when I'm on camera. This is gonna be my very first time trying this concealer. I did swatch it on my hand at the store, but that doesn't really mean anything, so. I really do love the packaging, by the way. I think it's adorable. That's just a tiny little version of it. So that's very cute. They're like a little matching set. I am extremely picky when it comes to concealers, you guys. Like, it is sick. I think over the past maybe five years, there's only been two concealers that I've even liked. And me being Aquarius, <laughs> I can't like them forever. I go back and forth. I can never like something 100%. Right off the bat, it is pretty thick. I'm kind of surprised at how light it is only because I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a brighter version of the foundation shade since they said that whatever your foundation shade is, your concealer is going to be a perfect match. It's a nice touch. It's just a little bit lighter than your regular foundation. Make you look a little bright and you don't have to worry about picking up a different shade. I'm gonna have to reapply a little bit more. Really focusing on my uh, dark circles. I need my concealer to be full coverage. I don't need a full coverage foundation, but I do need a full coverage concealer because I want my under eyes to look like a freaking doll. Yeah, it's kind of tacky a little bit still, so I'm just gonna let that set. And we're gonna check out the powder. I got the shade Banana in the powder. I'm sure most of you have tried like a banana shade of powder. It's in the medium range, but brightening. So there's two medium shades. One of them's brightening, one's just standard. Is this, hold on, is this ASMR? I 
I think setting powders in general are very, very lacking with most brands because you got to factor in that just because something's called translucent doesn't mean that it really doesn't appear up on the skin. The completely white translucent powders, the ones that come completely white in the thing, I don't like how they really look on me. I like something with a slight tint, like the Laura Mercier setting powder. And the Laura Mercier setting powder is considered translucent, meaning that it's supposed to work on multiple skin tones. And I don't really think that that could be 100% the case because it does leave a tint on your skin. People want to be able to have a little bit of tint to their powder and I think that it's great that Fenty made multiple shades in the powders. Fenty is all about that bomb ass inclusivity like I love Fenty Beauty you guys. Before I put any setting powder on let me just make sure that this looks good. So it's a little creasy. I am very creasy and that's another reason why I'm so picky about concealers. I just sound like the worst right now. Before that gets kind of a little bit creased again I'm gonna put the setting powder on. You know how I feel about baking so I'm gonna try to keep it a little light. Oh wow. When you put a powder over your concealer, it's gonna set it and it's gonna make it slightly deeper, which is perfect because this was a little bit light. It actually works out great that the concealer was just slightly light. This is called Instant Retouch Setting Powder and I can see why. I literally just applied this and suddenly everything looks flawless. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face, even though I'm a little matte with this foundation on, which I normally say, eh, like, eh, I don't wanna look crusty. I am going to do a light little set here because I want my whole skin to look retouched. Where I really think I need it, I'm gonna use a sponge. Where I don't really need it as much, I'm just gonna apply it with a brush. So my whole face is on now. I'm gonna go ahead and head out, but I wanted to show you really quickly what everything looks like all together. Fenty should come out with a setting spray though, like Rihanna, if you're listening to this right now in my dreams, we would love a setting spray. Thank you so much. Everything looks fantastic. I think that the powder is absolutely flawless as far as what I can see right now. I do have some creasing under my eyes. I never not have creasing, like there's never been a moment in my life where I haven't had creasing under my eyes. Everything else right here looks extremely perfected. So far, so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll out. We're working out biceps and back today. I love doing upper body, you guys. I did legs yesterday and excuse me, I'm dead, okay. I'm such, I'm, am I even here? I'm a ghost right now. That's how dead I was from that. This isn't a super sweaty workout day. I'm not doing any cardio or anything like that, but I will get my pump on and I'll go ahead and sit in the sauna for just a little bit just to give you guys the effect of what it looks like in a hot, hot weather. It's actually a dry sauna, so it gets very hot and dry, just like the weather here. We'll be right back, okay? Okay, so I'm all done working out now, did biceps and back. I was so wrong when I said it wasn't a sweaty workout day because I'm feeling it, but I did come in the sauna just so we can see if it's heat resistant, sweat resistant, like for real, for real, because it's 170 in here. Look at my arms are shaking. And I want you guys to know that I'm just doing this for you guys because it is hella hot up in here. I'm looking a little bit glistening, but we will see how everything looks when we get back home. All right, you guys, I am back. I had to recuperate for a minute. I had to eat some Chipotle because I was feeling real hungry. We are all done for the gym today. It's time to check in and see how our skin looks. I also went in that hot ass sauna for you guys, by the way. And if that didn't have me sweating, then nothing would because it was freaking toasty in there. So as far as I can tell, it's still looking pretty flawless. But I definitely have a little bit of creasing underneath my eyes, which I literally always do. I don't know what to say about that. Like I always crease. And as far as like oils or anything like that with the powder, I don't see much oiliness to my skin. My nose is a little bit shiny right here. I'm not a super, super oily person though. I'm kind of like normal, maybe combo skin. I try to keep it real moisturized. I definitely could have used some concealer up here because this is looking a little too bronzy in this area. A bronzer helmet going on right here. I don't see any breakage. Like I put the concealer all the way down to like where my nose is. There's no breakage that I can see. Everything looks damn near flawless and my nose area does usually tend to look a little funky around here depending on what kind of concealer i'm using so i am super happy about that because it doesn't look like it's worn off i'm trying to see if my under eyes look dry they don't look dry to me but they did definitely crease i should have set my eyelids with this powder because 
Them things are looking greasy. So I honestly thought it was gonna be more of a hot mess than it really is right now, because it's really not. It actually looks pretty good. But I also went ahead and took pictures with flash just to make sure that there's no flashback on the product. I really didn't notice a huge difference. The picture itself is much brighter because, I mean, it's, it's got flash on it. But I don't see any like powdery, flashback Mary situations going on. So that looks pretty good to me. And I also took one in natural lighting so you guys can see what it looks like in natural light. But everything looks really bomb. After we set it, the concealer matches in with the entire face very, very well. Could have brightened it up a little bit right here, but that's my own mistake. And yeah, that is it, you guys. What are we thinking? Other than the very slight creasing underneath my eyes, it looks damn near perfect. This is exactly what it says retouch photo retouch like it literally looks flawless like this powder is fantastic for those of you that saw my new year's resolutions and goals video um the non-nail biting is still going kind of strong they're still pretty short but we're getting there okay all right you guys so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know down below your thoughts let me know if you bought it let me know what you think but so far so good. I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed the background by the way I told you no more wrinkly backdrops. That was a one-time thing. We got a background going I'm gonna keep adding to it and hopefully it looks poppin in the end. Keep the sign Do what you love And that is it for this video you guys. I will see you next time. Bye